Alright, so in this video, I'll be showing off the new Osprey Porter 46. This is a carry-on size backpack made by Osprey. Um, it is a full carry-on size 22 by 14 by 9. So it will fit into overhead bins. It is allowed on almost all airline carry-on flights. Um, so that shouldn't be a problem. And one of the really appealing things about this is that despite being carry-on only, um, it is 46 liters. So if you were to go out and buy a normal backpacking backpack and you want it to be carry-on, you're usually restricted to 30 to 40 liters because they're not designed with airline requirements in mind. Um, this is. Um, one of the nice features of this um, backpack is that it has these stiff foam sidewalls. So when you're packing the bag, you don't have to worry about it collapsing in on you as you're packing it or if you need to open it and it's not full. It'll uh, rather easily stay open for you. Um, it has some... Compression straps, so when this bag is full, you need to get it a little smaller, keep things more secure. You have compression straps that can be tightened. Um, one of the neatest things about this bag, though, is the suspension and um, strap system. So as you can see here, this is the back of the bag. There are no straps. Um, the way this works is that there's a zipper along the top, and you can easily pull out shoulder straps, and along the bottom, wrangling here. You pull out a hip belt as well as the rest of the required straps to get this to work. So if I want to set this up, simply plug in straps and I have a backpack. Now, like a serious backpacking backpack, it actually does have a suspension system here. So now you have a full suspension system to help disperse weight across uh, your entire back so it's not resting on your shoulders. You have a hip belt, though it's not a very robust hip belt, uh, especially because it folds away. It's just some nylon. Um, this isn't going to be the most comfortable bag if you're going to be doing a lot of like, trail walking or something along those lines. Um, however, it's not really made for that. What it's made for are people who are traveling and want to go with carry-on only. And the extent of carrying this bag will be to hop on and off buses, get on airplanes, trains, taxis, things like that where you're not going to be carrying all your gear around with you everywhere you go. You're going to leave it in a hostel or a hotel when you're in a city, and then you'll take a small day pack out to carry your essentials as you need. And this will be mostly for carrying your gear back and forth through airports and buses and trains to your new hotel, things like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pack this, try to give you an idea of what you can fit in this. Now, um, this is in front of me here I have... Um, pretty much everything I'll be taking on an around-the-world trip with me. I'm going to be going for about five months um, to over 20 countries. So this backpack will get a big workout, lots of buses and trains, um, lots of moving around. And I really wanted to go with carry-on so I could travel light, so I could have uh, more flexibility in my trip. Um, you don't want to be carrying a big 55, 60-liter pack full of clothes that you may never even wear. Um, so bare base, bare essentials, uh, back to basics. And if there's anything you need along the trip... Um, pretty much any city in the world, you'll be able to find most anything you need. So if you're on your side, I really want a new raincoat, well, you didn't pack one, it's not a big deal, just go buy a raincoat at a store. It's, um, it's really not a big deal. A lot of people think that they have to bring everything they could possibly need, and this is not true. Just bring the essentials, bring what you know you'll use, and then if there's anything else you want along the way, uh, you can pick it up usually cheaper than you would back in the U.S. or Canada. So this pack... Unlike a normal top-loading backpack or a rucksack, um, the front panel, if you can see here, opens up. So something like a suitcase, it opens up and you have a pretty huge cavernous uh, opening in there to fit lots and lots of stuff. Um, you can, this is definitely comparable in size to taking a carry-on suitcase rather than a backpack. And that's one of the nice things. It gives you the, the rigidity along the sides and um, the space in the middle for... Uh, of that of a normal 
carry-on suitcase while still being a backpack and still being uh, rather comfortable to take around with you. So lay that down. Um, on the inside, as you can see here, we have a zipper and a little mesh divider. Um, might be useful for things like socks or documents that you want to keep inside, copy of your passport, itinerary, things like that that you want to keep away, a little safe when you need. Um, and the flap here also has another mesh pocket. Again, socks, uh, maybe toiletries, underwear, things like that would be really good for. Um, it also has, on the top of the pack, another zipper here, which has a decent size compartment um, that's also waterproof. It's a completely waterproof compartment. So um, most people use this for toiletries. Stick a toiletry bag in there. It's easy access when you go through security if they want to see it or you need to take it out if you're in a country that does that. And then being waterproof, should it something burst inside and leak, you're not going to ruin your clothes because this is waterproof. Um, so really good for toiletries of that. And then on the front of the pack, on the front uh, opening here, there's also another uh, pouch. Um, this is not the biggest, but it's big enough if you have a netbook or a notebook or a uh, magazine, e-reader, um, documents, things like that. Good place to throw your passport, throw your you know, iPad, your iPod, um, newspaper, things like that that you want easy access to on the train or the plane. Um, this would be the place to put it. Um, that's all it really has for pockets. It's not a uh, one of those big backpacks that are just bursting with little tiny pockets. Instead, the Osprey decided to devote most of their space and efforts to this huge interior, just so you can fit tons of clothes if you need. Um, although, I'll be traveling light, so it won't be a ton of clothes. So, for packing. Now, it's often suggested uh, many different ways to pack, from packing cubes to vacuum bags to uh, certain ways to fold your clothes, ways to interlock them. Um, what I've always found to be the most uh, the most um, uh, efficient way is just to roll them up. So you start with, like I have here, um, just a you know, button-down shirt, fold it, and then starting at one end, just roll it tight like you're rolling a little sleeping bag. Now these, these shirts are made to be packed up and rolled easily. Um, one of the nice things about rolling is generally you don't have to worry about wrinkles as much. If you flatten the shirts and you just leave them folded like it was, like these are over here, um, if they get pushed around, they're going to uh, wrinkle up. But if you roll it, you don't have to worry about wrinkles as much. Um, as far as for what I'm packing, yeah, this is you know, a pretty simple packing list. Um, I've got um, three uh, Columbia button-down shirts. They're moisture wicking. They're quick drying. Um, they're really light. They're breathable. So um, they're going to be cool even in a hot climate, and then I can also wash them at night, hang them up to dry, and the next morning they'll be ready to go again. Um, four t-shirts um, to you know, wear underneath one of those shirts, or if I'm feeling I don't want to wear a you know, button-down shirt every day and I want something a little different, um, I can wear the t-shirt, or if I'm in a little bit chillier climate, I'm going out in the evening, I can put it underneath one of the button-down shirts. And that's one of the things for packing, is you want to bring clothes that you can combine with each other, that you can layer up if it gets cooler, you can take off if it gets warmer, things that'll work with each other. Don't bring a piece of clothing that you can only wear with one other thing. Everything should be able to work with each other so that you can have a number of different outfits the way you put them together while still saving weight. Because traveling for five, six months, a year, whatever it is, you're going to get tired of wearing the same thing every day, um, even if you keep it clean. Uh, so this helps bring a little bit of variety to it. You can change things up, but still traveling light. So four t-shirts. And over here we have a pair of gym shorts. Uh, this mostly for just lounging around a hostel if I'm taking it easy, or um, also for sleeping in at night. Um, two pairs of Columbia zip-off pants. Again, quick drying. They pack down really small. They're very light. Um, and while they look pretty cliche, touristy, um, they pretty utilitarian. They do zip off into shorts. And most likely I'll spend most of the time wearing them as shorts rather than pants. But if I do want them as pants, they can work that way too. Um, a pair of Columbia quick drying shorts and a pair of uh, Columbia swim trunks that also look like regular travel shorts. So if I want to go swimming, there's swim trunks and they're really quick drying. If I want to wear the mesh shorts, I can do that as well. Uh, a little toiletries bag, although for this video it's not completely full, but you get the idea to fill this up uh, with you know, travel size, everything, little, little bits of medicine. Um, a bag with cables and chargers and whatnot for 
phones and cameras and my Galaxy Tab. Uh, back here, I have a uh, zip-up uh, hooded sweatshirt. It's just cotton, so it's light. It'll dry relatively quickly um, should it get wet. It also doesn't take up a lot of space because it's a uh, thin, like, t-shirt material. A uh, pair of flip-flops, which would be good if uh, in the tropical locations I'm going to, if I'm just running out to the store or to, for a quick meal. I don't want to lace up the boots or whatnot or lace up the shoes. I can throw these on also in the shower and around the hostel. Um, then I also have a Galaxy Tab. Uh, this is my way. I will keep it.